Hello guys, my name is Sub-Zero Extabyte and I am having a fantastic day. And I hope you guys are having a fantastic day as well, and if not yet hope you are going to have a fantastic day. But I think I know a certain way how I can make your day fantastic, and that is what we are going to do right now. Because we are going to make a machine ladies and gentlemen we are going to make a machine that kills creepers. You know how much I hate the mobs but those creepers I just can't stand them I just can't so that is why I am going to make the machine I am doing it solo because it will be a surprise for the rest of the Minecraft world. I will be having a fully diamond armor and a diamond sword so if something goes wrong I can easily fight them and then I can whip out my diamond sword or whatever I am going to get and I am going to kill some creepers I guess, but it is almost night which is quite alright and then all the fun can start. Our preparations have been set. I am in survival mode, I take my stuff out the chest. I then gear a bit up and then we can rock and roll I guess is that still something younger people say? Let's rock and roll. I don't know I am getting old, let me know down below. And if younger people don't say that anymore then we can always start the trend all over again so I guess we are just casually going to do that. But yeah guys I guess that you all have to be ready for what is going to come, since it is almost night. My boy Steve Big Eyed Steve has his trench thing done and now we can already start with the creepers wait what is happening. Steve with the big eyes oh it was just a bit laggy I guess. Oh lord there are a lot of creepers in here and they already blew up bits of my castle and my chest. Oh no not my chest. All my precious things were inside of that chest. But I guess not anymore wait no there was nothing left in the chest. Alright then it is alright and now we just need to kill a whole lot of creepers now that are on my staircase and if one blows up a lot of creepers die in the progress which is actually quite a positive thing since I then don't have to kill a lot of creepers which is just fantastic, but the bit that is less fantastic is that the castle that Sub-Zero Extra bite him personally built on a cool little hill with the bottom of the hill is going to kind of die. And it is going to be some kind of ruins that you always see on really amazing countries and all of that. So yeah, I have already killed a lot of people, but I mean the castle that Sub-Zero X to bite and personally built on a cool little hill with the bottom of the hill is still here to this day and it is still not completely ruined, but it is still standing really strong. That might be because Steve is kind of chilling right now and not spawning that many creepers so that gave us a little break which is just great, but we have killed quite a few now and I don't think they are able to get up now which is not really that great for them but that would be really great for me since I then don't have to worry for them coming up but it would kind of be unfair if I did that so we didn't do that and now all of these creepers are out here chilling with the staircase and they can now actually come up and oh no these creepers creeped up on me and his name is Steve Steve big eyes had set up the flank so he is partially fault of my castle being this ruined which is not really nice of him but he has to try and kill me with these creepers and if I wouldn't be able to handle all of this then it wouldn't be a challenge would it? No and if I would be able to handle all of that then it would also not be a challenge I guess but yeah that time has come that we are now going to chill in the battlefield I guess since our castle is kind of dead right now just as we are kind of dead right now we only have two hearts and we have to heal a bit up then it will be alright oh no the trench is in enemy territory it also seems like so we are gone from that trench and we are just one heart and we really need to heal up right now otherwise we are guaranteed to die which would not be great. But we have kind of healed up and we are already three hearts in and it is still gaining so I guess that is alright. Wait it is kind of amazing as well that the creepers can blow up in the water. Well they can blow up in the water but they can like to explode the surroundings inside of the water then which is kind of cool. They still do damage and all of that so that is not that cool. But it is still quite cool. Hey wait we have also got a little house here in the battlefield. I haven't seen that yet but if you look really good in the distance then you could see my good well. A bit less friend after this video to be honest name Big Eyed Steve spawning a lot of creepers on my castle that Sub-Zero X to bite and personally built on a cool little hill with the bottom of the hill. Which is something that I don't really like of him to be honest. But yeah. We have died and there is no shame in that but it would be a shame if we would die again and we are once again on one heart which is not something that is good. 
but we have got our gear and the creepers are kind of on a distance so that is alright. We just need to chill for a bit right now and just heal up for a bit and it is just going to be great after that. We are two and a half hearts at the moment and we have got our armor that is kind of really broken right now on so we are protected which as well as just fantastic. And you have got the really amazing chain armor in her which is just something that I think is really cool. And dying is not really cool so we need to die a bit less but I guess we are not doing that which is not really that great. But hey what is that my little boy Steve with the big eyes? Oh baby that is a diamond sword and that thing is now in our inventory and we can use that to kill a whole lot of creepers which is going to be really amazing to be honest. As you can see the parkour with the creepers will go off is already set we will use water to transport them towards their dead I am so hyped at the moment darn it people why didn't I come up with this machine before. So we will only kill the normal creepers but there are some different ones as well but I just don't know where to find them. And they need to not be here but be somewhere else. But now they are almost all gone so I can go further with my masterpiece and I can show all of you guys at home or wherever you are how these magical creatures work. They are really like a chameleon but then with four legs and a bit different because they blow up when they feel threatened and when they know they can damage someone, so I suggest to stay from a distance. But now it is time to take the egg and show you guys how these creatures work. So let's spawn some of these mobs and you will see that they adapt to the surface they are on. Okay this creeper might not do that but he is going to die anyway because I don't like him and he is proving me wrong and he should not have done that because that was really dumb from him and this creeper is doing the same and now I am questioning why I am taking all this effort to make this crazy line of different blocks and I just wanted to show all of you that are watching this video wherever you are watching this from how this works but I don't think this works at all but maybe they need some time to adapt maybe these are the slow kind ones I am not sure yet but I think that we just need to give them some time to adapt maybe they will become some other blocks yeah see like this one became a dirt block I am not sure why they all become a brown creeper because that is something I have not seen quite often in all my experience but that is okay Maybe this environment gives them the ability to only become really green normal or brown. I am not sure but normally they become other colors as well. Don't know which kind these are but they are pretty cool nonetheless. And they are pretty weird as well but that is okay. Sometimes you have to be different to stand out and not be a normal creeper but only this is not the time because they are different but they don't stand out because they are made out of very advanced as little John Cena molecules and they make the creepers almost invisible. But here we have a rare stone creeper that is the exact same color of gray as the stone. Oh and I think I have found out why it was not working. I never spawned these creatures before because I never had an egg to spawn them but they just need some space to become the object that they are walking on. You could just put them on one single block and expect them to become that very block. But we did try though and we learned from our failed try so that is a positive thing. Sometimes you just need to make mistakes in order to become better and that is something that almost everyone goes through but do you real original gangsters remember the video that I did about the ice cream creepers well that was kind of the same deal only now they are not ice cream but they are the block that they are standing on and I should stop saying block because they become the blocks that they are standing on. We already found out that it did not work with one single block so that is something that we already learned today. But look at these ones they are all green and they are on dirt. That is because they only adapt to the color of the grass which is green and if they would also adapt the brown of the dirt then they would just stand out more than as they were green. So that is why all of these are green for all of you that might have been wondering that the whole time. But we now have slayed a whole bunch of them and we have some gunpowder in our inventory and we can maybe use that to just keep it and do absolutely nothing with it. I don't know why you should make anything with gunpowder because gunpowder itself is pretty cool. It is literally its name and it is gunpowder so it is powder that is a gun. Wait no that makes no sense. What am I talking about? I am not sure. But now I am hungry to get more gunpowder because now I just like the name gunpowder because it does not really make sense however it does let the guns work. Gunpowder is inside the bullet and without the gunpowder inside of the bullets then the gun would not be able to shoot any bullets then it would just kind of not launch hard I guess. But back in the days of the pirates those people had to put the gunpowder apart from the bullet and they would do things with a stick and stuff. And when they had to load the cannons then they had to push them and stuff and put gunpowder in first and then the cannonball and only after that then they could fire. 
I did forget one part of that whole canon part but I am no canon expert so that is okay. I am however a creeper with chemo expert so that is why I am now live on National Geographic and that is why you are seeing this video. No this is not really for National Geographic but that would be cool though. But we now took some weird looking blocks and I am really curious to how the chemo creeper is going to react on glass and to the glowstone and also a bit looking forward to the sponge one. But we are going to see that in just a matter of seconds but yeah I am pretty hyped about that. But first we are going to make a platform out of this and see how the creepers like to react to walking on top of it. This is pretty cool because now the creepers are like military grade camo. Only then with a bit of lot of brown instead of green but that is okay because in their normal lives they are green so now they can be another color and be happy with that. But yeah up there on the castle that Sub-Zero X to bite and personally built on a cool little hill with the bottom of the hill is kind of split in half now which is also not really that good since it is now kind of dead. We should kind of change the name to something that is more suitable to its current state. That would be something along the lines of half ruin castle that Sub-Zero X to bite and personally built and the creepers have exploded but it is still on a cool little hill with the bottom of the hill. No wait I should remove the bit with the bottom of the hill. So it would be something like half ruin castle that Sub-Zero X to bite and personally built and the creepers have exploded but it is still on a cool little hill. Yes I think that totally sounds amazing and we are going to rock with that name. And now there are more creepers on the realty amazing battlefield with all the lava and stuff I don't even remember the name of the battlefield but that doesn't really matter since the battlefield is already more ruined than my half ruined castle that Sub-Zero X to bite and personally built and the creepers have exploded but it is still on a cool little hill will ever be so that is kind of fair. And the thing that looked like a trench is also kind of not a trench anymore but it looks like an airstrike went over the thing. Well it kind of looks like that airstrike has been everywhere on this custom build map by Steve with the big eyes. I am starting to believe that I don't really like him that much since he has killed me like how many times now. Yes, a lot that is how many times and that is not really that fair. But the thing is that the man had given me a diamond sword but that sword is now gone so that is not really too nice of the game. But we have given the creeper pit lava now so I hope that a lot of creepers are going to die thanks to the lava which is just going to be great. And now we have got a tower up here which is just great we can kind of chill right here. But my man Steve with the big eyes just kind of trolled me right there. And now he is making it up with me and he has something really amazing for me which is a diamond sword and we could use that but I think that our man has some more stuff for me by the looks of it. Which is just fantastic and he has given me diamond armor. Oh lord yes, I really like diamond armor. Thank you so much Steve with the big eyes, even some golden apples. Oh yes. We could use them as well and now we are out here bowling with golden apples which not a lot of people have but we have got them and we are ready for a war right now and the creeper pit has not died and we didn't since we only lost two hearts. And those were both the hearts that we gained from the golden apple. But now my boy is spawning in a lot more creepers so it should be fun down here. This water is kind of annoying to be honest with all of you. But that is part of the custom map in the challenge I guess so it is fair. But the thing is that these are a lot of creepers which is not really that fair. But if one creeper explodes when there are a lot of creepers then they all just kind of die thanks to one explosion which is something that is really amazing and interesting if you would ask me. But now the creeper pit is not a pit anymore but it is almost like it is a new country or something. Look how deep it is in all of that. Even the silverfish came in to have a look so you know it is really that deep when those silverfish come in. And those things are not a joke man. Those things are evil and they will nibble on you when they can and you don't want to get nibbled on now do you? Well I at least don't want to get nibbled on so I guess we have to kill them all. But the problem is that they are really small little fish that are not even fish so my names that I give to things are way clearer than a silver fish. Which is silver but it is not a fish and it is kind of grey if you would ask me. If I had to give the silver fish a different name then I would name them something along the lines of grey looking fish that is actually not a fish but it is a lion. These things look cute but they are not cute and they lead again about that. They are just one big lie. And that is how I would name them if I was a scientist. Could you imagine it? Scientist sub? Well I couldn't but it would be something that would just be revolutionary since then there would be a whole lot of stuff that would be clearer. So now that this very hard challenge seems to be kind of completed, not really but it is kind of completed if you have to be honest like it was just a blast playing and it was like, literally a blast playing hey 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 hiya, since the creepers like blast when they blow up. Oh, 
you don't think that is funny, well I thought it was funny I think this is funny and I think everything I did today will work. There are some small details that I need to work on but I will bring in Chip so he can have a look at it to complete the machine. So people keep in mind that mobs are bad. They will try to kill us destroy our homes so that's it until then I say goodbye. Thank you.